There we go. That's the intro song. Alright, let me just go here, scaling mode. I've heard uniform scaling is actually better, so maybe I'll, I'll do that instead. And I, I'm ready to get started, just one second. Let's go! Alright, so on the, on the previous run, we actually had a pretty successful run with the Hunter. We managed to actually finish the game. So I assume now I have to play the other characters so I can like unlock stuff. So I, I have no idea how they actually play. I don't remember. I know this boy, he has like extra armor, I think. That's his thing. I don't know. She has like a Molotov shotgun. He seems like he, uh, the the clip thingy, the hair clip thing, I think it's for opening, like, locks. So that seems pretty good, so I guess I'm playing the pilot. Let's get started. Hello, Ria, how are you doing on this evening? I hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, uh, we need to get these things. The other stuff we're missing. I know how to get this. You buy this from the shop, that's the prime primer. I don't remember how to get, like, the other stuff. So, well... I guess I'm gonna have to find that out. What are you guys up to? Young Liga, we did this walls of flash. There's a soul that counts the its creditor. Once rested, we will to explore the gungeon and you. Find that us, and we may find that your interests intertwined. Now, let us rest. Alright, I guess they, they might sell stuff or something. I don't know. Let me let me just get a eh, Twitch chat updated. It's a bit a little bit slow. Sometimes you, you have to say something in chat, so chat like reloads. Hello, Maddie. How are you doing on this evening? I hope you're doing well. Bass can run up to 40 miles per hour, fast enough to catch a running horse. The fastest known human alive is the same boat who can run 27 miles per hour. I have no idea how much a mile is. <laughs> I think it's like 1.6 kilometers. Not entirely sure. That's actually pretty fast, but I assume not all bears can run that fast. Like can, like, can, like, black bears run that fast? They're not that big. So, we only have this gun. Alright, interesting. We do have the happy in an active item, though. So, here's to try that out. But I assume, I mean, it's pretty likely that it's just gonna... Oh, no. I hate that. It's just gonna be, like, opening locks, right? But, I mean, that seems pretty decent to me. Not gonna complain about that. Oh, there's another one of you. Great thanks, making dinner is a lot more chill than surfing to water. I agree. I like cooking. Oh, that was, that was another enemy. Why? Wow, I didn't even see you. I like how I didn't take damage. Ah! It froze for a second there, but here we go. Not too bad. I like cooking. Cooking is very fun. Though sometimes it, it can take quite a while. Especially if you have to like chop a lot of vegetables. Like what I usually do for cooking is like in the weekends. Oh no, I hate this. In the weekend, I like cut the vegetables for like the salads that I'm gonna eat the whole week. Well, for five days, of course. A salad wouldn't last for seven days. Well, for five days, it's pretty decent. So it can take a while, you know. You have to cut cucumbers, feud pumpkins, paprika, which is like bell peppers. To cut like so many tomatoes, carrots, spinach. It's a lot of stuff to cut. So it can take a while, but it's still pretty fun. It's more fun if you have someone else to join you, though. My father, he loves cooking, but he has the most fun when he's cooking with my mother. They they cook together very often. Oh, that that was bad. Should I have stood there? That's okay. No, I know I know this boy gives me a key, but I think no. There we go. I still got it. It wasn't that hard actually. He he stood there for quite a long time, more than I thought he would. So thanks. Spasiva. Monokuma is slow and fat. Does Monokuma count as a bear? Isn't he like a robber or something? Actually, was that actually even explained fully? I'm not sure because in Danganronpa 2, it's kind of like a similar... Well, maybe I shouldn't give spoilers for Danganronpa 2, right? <laughs> but it, it was explained what Monokuma was in Danganronpa 2, but I'm, I'm not sure what he is in the other games, I guess. 
I guess that doesn't really matter, does it? 12 American CT blocks is how I measure in America. <laughs> to be fair, we, we do use blocks here a lot too. Depending on what you need. You know, if you ask the distance or something, they're not gonna tell you, oh, it's 3 kilometers. Because a lot of people won't be able to know it. Like, how much does that even mean, you know? Well, I can kind of know that's like 10 minutes by car, usually, with traffic. Quicker without, but, you know. But if, if you just say, you know, blocks, that makes it easier for people to, to understand. Especially if, you, if they're walking, that makes a lot more sense. I think it's all, it's all about being, you know... Context, I guess. Alright, how do we use the activate when I think it's Q? Yeah, there we go. It did not work. Alright. So now I can't open the chest anymore? Hum! I didn't know that's how it worked. <laughs> Maybe I should have read it. Chest to pick locks can only be used once per lock. So it seems like I can't even use the regular key now, so that kind of sucks. But maybe it's gonna land me later. Maybe I just have to wait for a bit. I'm not sure. Wow, um, this floor kind of sucks. Nothing so far. Making beef, beef stew is hella chili. Hella chili? Ha, you, you get it? It's chili? You know, I, I like not... Well, stew is fine, but you know what's really nice? I probably told you this before, but having beef with Madeira sauce. You should look into getting Madeira sauce. Madeira sauce is so good for meat. It goes so well together. It's a type of sauce that, that has wine in it. It's a lot of fun. So I do really like the Elsa Blanc. It's really strong. But I kind of... I, I remember using the Scrambler, actually. And I remember it was absolutely broken. So I'm gonna buy it because I need something for the boss fight. But I could probably do the boss fight with the... Standard gun, I would rather have something stronger so that I increase my chances. My chances of like actually perfecting the boss fight. And if you perfect the boss fight, you get an HP upgrade. So that's like pretty major. And maybe I should have wasted so many of my bullets. Yeah, I regret that. <laughs> but I don't remember exactly if the scrambler, I remember it's good, but I don't remember if it's good for clearing floors or for killing bosses. I remember I was like, wow, the scrambling is amazing, though, when I used it, so... I, I think it's a, a worthwhile purchase, but... So, I remember this. This is like, if you put the, the water in the fire, it gives you a, a, like, secret path. I don't know if it's a secret, like, it's just a secret room, or like... A whole secret, like, another path to the game. Like, an alternate path. There we go. I see the, the secret room here. So the secret room has a thing with like two locks that you have to open. So we're gonna worry about that after the boss fight, I think. Looks like Binding of Isaac. Yes, it is very similar to Binding of Isaac. It's very inspired by Binding of Isaac. Oh, this is a really good chest. But it's more like with guns, right? <laughs> Rather than crying. So Heart of Ice is an HP upgrade. I think that's just it. But that's like really good in Gungeon. Because um, differently from Isaac, you don't get that much HP in Gungeon, it's really about dodging. And one of the, the biggest differences between Gungeon and Isaac is that this game is a lot more about like actually dodging, like you have a dodge roll, right? Like this. And that makes you invincible like in Dark Souls, like it gives you iframes. And it's a lot more bullet hellish than Isaac. Ah! I want to be careful with that, I do want to try to perfect the boss, that's pretty, pretty important. But as you can see, the, the Scrambler is dealing massive amounts of damage. So I'm pretty happy about... Ah! <laughs> I messed up the perfect because here's what happened, alright? There's a thing in the game that's the blanks. It's this blue thing here at the top. And what that does is like it clears all the bullets on the screen, right? So I wanted to use that. But here's the thing. That thing is usually like on the standard controls of the game it's on Q but I change it to spacebar but when I was running away from the things I was like oh I need to blank so I pressed Q and it wasn't working so I kept pressing Q and it wasn't working and when I pressed when I realized oh wait I changed it to the spacebar it was a bit too late and I took damage so that was my bad actually I didn't even need to to actually 
Rapid fire, that seems interesting. Oh, and it synergizes with the heart of ice we got, so now. Now it shoots ice. That's pretty cool. Seems pretty strong. But yeah, I messed it up because I changed the key binding and it took me a while to realize what, what that I had done that. But here's the thing, I didn't even need to blank, that was my own fault. If I had just kept fighting, it would have been fine. So yeah, we can't actually pick up the chest. So someone told me I should shoot the chests if I can't pick them up. There we go. So we get a bag of lunch. Junk. Does that even do anything? Just some junk. Alright. <laughs> sure. So that was my bad, because I didn't need to blank, but I was like, I'm gonna blank just to be safe, and then that actually killed me. So that's my mistake, but that's okay. We still got an HP upgrade on the first floor, so that's pretty good. Now, this is my first time actually going into the secret thing, so hmm, I'm curious what's gonna happen here. Obliette, chamber secret? Oh, that's the bullet boys. But yeah, if you've played Binding of Isaac, if you like Binding of Isaac, you definitely like this game. It's very fun. And very challenging too, which is nice. I would say after playing Isaac for like a little bit too much, it gets a little bit easy. So it, it's nice to have a, a new type of challenge with Enter the Gungeon. I've been enjoying it quite a lot. I've only been able to finish it once. So it is a very challenging game. And the time I finished it, I had like an absolutely broken item. Like, really, really good. So, it pretty much, like, carried me. Oh! But yeah, if you if you want, like... Oh, yeah, that's my bad. That's... Yeah, no. That's entirely my bad. If, if you want, like, an Isaac-style gameplay, which is, like, you go around floors, you get, like, items... Stuff synergizes, you get stronger, and you go further, and you fight bosses. But with a little bit more bullet hellish stuff, then Gungeon, Gungeon is really fun, I highly recommend it. Ah, I'm doing terribly on this floor. Try to, to pay a, a bit more attention to my dodges. There we go. Well, we can't go this way. Actually, we can. It's just locked. Maybe we can open it? No? Oh, no. Now the lock is blocked forever. You know what? I think I'm not going to be using the hairpin. Because I really don't like having the locks blocked forever. Like, that actually sucks. So, how much is the key? I think it's 30 something, 26. I might buy the key. I might buy the heart. I don't know yet. Oh, there's actually a room here. We'll see. The, the thing is, the game does give you a dodge roll, so you can actually just dodge through the bullets, but for some reason, my brain is always like, you don't need to dodge roll, just walk, and that always gets me hit. You should really dodge roll, that, that's like really good. It's not, it's not as easy to dodge roll as it is in Dark Souls, it's a bit more complicated, because in Dark Souls, you can go in one direction and dodge roll into the other direction. In this game, you can't do that. The direction you dodge roll is the direction you're walking. So you do need to be a bit careful with, like, the position you're walking. But, yeah, that, that's my bad. No, we're just gonna switch guns here just so I can, like, actually kill stuff. There we go. I'm getting pretty low on health, which is a bit sad. Hmm. Maybe I should just use my better gun. Hmm. I need a key for that. That, that is just not justifiable. That's just me being horrible. <laughs> it's just like sometimes I pay way too much attention to like the enemies and I don't pay enough attention to like the stuff coming my way. And that like really messes me up. So I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the scrambler for the boss fight and I should just use this to clear rooms. This seems to be working pretty okay. I, I wish I was I would like get a, a key drop because I don't want to buy the key from the shop because I want to buy hearts because I've been taking so much damage. But I can I would will only be able to afford one of the two. I won't be able to afford both. So, just, ah! <laughs> oh my god! I actually just walked into the bullets. No comments. 
No comments. No comments. That, that was just... I, I, I can't do better than this. You know what? I'm just gonna buy the hearts, because I'm doing really, really, really poorly. Like, really poorly. It kind of sucks that you we might lose access to the chest in the floor, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Also, another cool thing about Gungeon is you can flip tables, and the tables will, like, block bullets for you. So I can hide here behind the table, you see? That's pretty useful stuff, because you do have tons of tables around the environment. And you, you can get some synergies, like some items that when you flip the tables, it does something extra. So some items will make it like, if you flip the tables, you get a power bonus. If you flip the tables, you get a blank, which clears all bullets, etc, etc. So it is like something you, you want to be doing very constantly, is flipping the tables. Not only it makes your dodging easier, but if you have some, some extra powerful stuff, it gives you some extra benefits. So, it's good stuff. This gun takes a little bit long to reload, but it's okay. It does have lots of bullets, so it's easy to take care of flaws with them. And it freezes the enemies, which makes it easier... Eh, I hate this. Makes it easier to dodge. I'm really bad at not falling into chasms in Gungeon. As you can see. <laughs> it's because, like, like I've said, the dodge is... The dodge roll goes in, like, the direction you're walking. Not actually where you're pointing at so sometimes well very often my brain is like well i'm pointing in this direction so if i just if i just dodge roll i'm gonna dodge roll in that direction but i'm actually walking towards other direction so i actually like just fall into pits or run dodging to like bosses and stuff just because i'm so used to how dark souls works which is like you can go in one direction and dodge into like the reverse direction so you do that a lot to get distance from bosses, but still be able to, to dodge through, like, attacks and stuff. But in Gungeon, you can't really do that if you're gonna dodge through, like, a boss's bullet. You need to make sure you actually have enough space, because you're gonna dodge into the boss, you know? Unless you dodge away from the bullets, which is also valid, but not always a good idea. You know, it, it has a lot of... A lot of depth to it, that's what I mean to say. Which is, which is fun, you know. Oh, there we go, that's a boss fight. I'm curious what the boss is gonna be. Does look like fun and yeah, I'm kind of over uh, going back to Isaac. I still go back to Isaac all the time, just because I like it so much, but... But I tend to only play certain characters like the Keeper. I tend to... Well, I you think we have enough for the key? We do, there we go. I tend to not, like, play actual Isaac anymore. I, tend, I like, like, the characters that are, like, challenging, you know. The keeper. <laughs> Let's see. Gungeon Pepper, the heat is on. Oh, that's a passive. I thought it was a gun. Deal damage to nearby enemies. That seems interesting. Might not be that useful since we do tend to get distance from the enemies and stuff, but now I'm just thinking, do I wanna use the the freezing gun or the scrambler against the boss? I think I'm gonna use the scrambler just because it deals so much damage, but I can see how useful the... <laughs> is that like the huge pouring? Pouring? Blubble Lords. If you ever played Ragnarok Online, the, the slimes are called pourings. It's, it's very cute. I like them. Ah! So, yeah. I mean, no excuses there. That, that, that was like incredibly easy to dodge. I just didn't even try. And I actually died. So, there we go. Just, just give me a quick restart. That that run was just cursed. I lost all of my health, like, just fighting, like, regular enemies. <sighs> Even though I, I didn't get the a P HP upgrade from the boss, but I did get an HP upgrade from a chest, so that's, like, no excuse. That's just me being bad. But that's okay. The thing is, I took damage with, like, so many things that weren't even hard to dodge. I just, like, didn't pay attention, so... Oh, um, I've never seen this before. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I don't like that. <laughs> and it did take health from mm, Daruma unlocked. Interesting. I hope it's gone, the hands. 
It might still be here. It seems like it's gone. All right. Well, I hate that. It did blink though, so I guess I just dodged in the in like the wrong timing. Maybe you, you should wait until it blinks. That that seems reasonable, right? But I don't know. I mean, it was my first time encountering that enemy, so I wasn't sure what what it was gonna do. I mean, I knew what he was gonna do, I'm not sure like how the behavior works, like what's the timing to, to actually dodge. Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> That's bad. Um, yeah, this run is it's pretty cursed too, not gonna lie. The other one wasn't that cursed though, I had like really good guns, I just played horribly. And to be fair, I'm not playing that much better right now. That's okay. It's still the first floor though, we, we have a chance to, to improve. At least I know what the secret does now. It opens like a secret floor. Well, do I want a brown chest? Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna keep exploring because maybe I'll find a better chest. Like, brown chests are like the the worst ones. Hello, Lilith. How are you doing on this evening? I hope you're doing well. It's nice to see you. Ah! Got stuck there on the table. Wanna be careful with that. Maybe I'll just flip this table. Yeah, that's pretty helpful. I like that. Oh, uh, the thing is, the table does block your bullets too, so when you're gonna shoot enemies, you have to go around the table. So that can be a bit annoying sometimes. It's not that bad, though. And there we go. Nice and easy. Another interesting thing about Gungeon is that your aim isn't 100% precise. If you aim, like, on this square, not all the bullets are gonna hit this square, you see? Like, my bullets don't actually go all the time where I am enemy. So that makes the game extra challenging. Because you have to, like, be careful with those, you know, account for those when you're actually, like, trying to hit stuff. But there are some items you can get, some, some upgrades that make you more accurate. And those are, like, extremely helpful, I think. Because as you can see, it is, like, it can be quite frustrating. Like, some bullets will just miss. And with the standard gun, it doesn't mean that much, it just means your DPS will be lower. But with like guns with limited ammo, it means you're losing the limited ammo, so that's like a problem. Well, I like that you two got stuck there. That's pretty helpful actually. Thank you. Well, there's a shop there, but we cannot go through this way. I'm good, how does Gungeon treating you? I'm still very early, well, not very early, very new to Gungeon. So I'm still really bad. I've only ever finished the game once. On my third stream of Gungeon. And it was because I had an absolutely broken gun. I think it was like the crown gun, something like that. And I had like an absolutely crazy synergy where I could move the bullets after I shot them. So I, I was just like absolutely destroying everything. But that's how I won, I got carried. When it comes to like, can I do it with like my own skills? So far, no. Oh my god, that sucked. I dodged, but it was a bit too late on that. I do find that it's quite a, a bit of a delay with the dodge roll, but as I've said before, it might not be an actual delay. It might just be because the dodge roll is on the mouse button, so I don't know. It, it takes a bit longer to click the mouse button versus the keyboard, maybe. Sometimes I wish the dodge roll was like on spacebar, but then I think about it a bit more and I'm like, eh, maybe not. I don't know. So this guy, I think it's like you can give stuff to him. Maybe I'll give the hair clip, actually. So what I realized here is you should try to, like, not use the hair clip unless you actually don't have keys. Because if you use it, uh, it can, like, actually block the chest for Well, I just teleported to the same room. Amazing. That's garbage. Well, it's just... It's not that... It, 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 it is annoying, because some guns have, like, really bad, like, aim accuracy. But it's just something you have to pay attention to, you know? It, I don't think it detracts from the game. It just makes it more challenging. But I guess you could argue it makes it challenging in a way that's, like, not fair to the player, because it wouldn't, won't matter how good your aim is. But I don't know. I, I think it's fine. I think it might actually even help you, because, like... You can't always look where your aim is going, like, 100% all the time, because you, you need to worry about dodging. Because that's, like, the major, like, the biggest part of the game is, like, dodging, right? So I guess having the aim be not 100% accurate might actually help you. Because then, oh, I think blue is good, so let's see. I bump companion up. Does it, like, explode? 
things in the room. Yeah. Okay, I've had this before. It's actually absolute garbage. So, that was a waste of a key. <laughs> but yeah, since you're worrying so much about, like, dodging rather than where you're shooting, I guess having the, the accuracy not be that high might actually help you, like, hit some enemies, you know? Well, this really sucks, because I don't have any guns for the boss fight. I only have the, the standard gun, and it doesn't do, like, damage damage, you know? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I open the, the secret floor, the oubliat, because I don't even have the keys necessary. You need two keys to do that, so... I'm hoping I get a key drop, <laughs> but it seems like we might have to buy keys from from the shop and I was kind of like hoping now I could like buy the hearts instead but I guess if you're a better player you don't really need to worry about buying hearts but since I'm not good it is something I I'm concerned about so I can actually like survive and shit well it seems like this is the whole floor we have like one brown chest and um, I'm not entirely sure. I could use the hair clip to try to open the chest. And then I'll, I'll just buy hearts. But to be honest, I think I might actually buy the key. And just open the chest. Because I want it, I guess. <laughs> oh, we got it. So that's a gun. That's nice. Son of shotgun. I don't think I've used it before. Seems okay. I expect that the damage is not going to be that high, but it seems useful for the boss fight. Especially since, like I said, I'll be focusing on dodging. So it's nice to have a, a gun that doesn't require me to pay that much attention to aiming. Now, I will say, the range absolutely sucks. So this might actually be horrible. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced about this. I'm going to switch back to the regular pistol, I guess. My chances of perfecting this fight, very low. <laughs> it helps. Yeah, there we go. It helps when you actually have damage, you know? So you can actually, like, kill the bosses fast enough. And on the previous run, we did have the Scrambler, which did, like, crazy amount of damage. I killed the boss, like, so fast. But, well, I messed it up, I guess. Yeah, um, that's slow slow blanking on my part. Not, not actually dodging at all, which is, like, bad. Not doing that well here, but to be fair, like, my stuff sucks. <laughs> this flow is not nice to us. Hopefully the next floor is better, if we get there, I guess, which we might not. My bad. I knew I needed to dodge there, but didn't. Yeah, this... Hey, like I said, there's always a slight delay on the... On the dodge roll, and I haven't figured out it, if it is like my fault or if it's just the game has a, a delay on it. But I haven't been able to to actually like internalize in my brain that it has a delay, so I can like actually try to be a bit faster. I don't know. I guess I'm a bit used a little bit too much to like Dark Souls, which had like very little delay on the dodge roll. Like you could actually do like crazy clutch dodge rolls. If you're fast enough, and I don't know if this in Gungeon here, it's because I'm not fast enough, or if it is because I'm just bad. <laughs> that might that might be the case, or if there is an actual real delay, and that actually sucks. But let's be honest, the the game actually gave me no guns. And here's the thing, uh, he, this is what I like about the. Are you even a gamer? <laughs> A bad one, I guess. A really bad one. But this is what I like about the Huntress, the other character. The one with the dog. Is that she actually has a crossbow, which is like a pretty strong weapon. So even if you get nothing from the first floor, you can still fight the boss pretty well with the crossbow. Because it deals like so much damage. And I struggled a lot there, just because like I didn't have damage. So it just took me too long to kill the boss. And I just ended up taking too much.